recording. I guess it's I guess it's I guess it's recording already. Yeah, cool. What does it say? Oh there there it says. Okay, there's like one of this button at the bottom that says record. You see it? Yeah, I see it now. Um what's up guys? It's been a while since we did a podcast, but um Danny's here today and we've got a time limit of like thirty minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. What up, y'all? What up, Ray? Good to Danny, see you, man. Danny's got some very important information. Here it comes. Um, so, uh, let's see, where do we start? Just two quick things. Um, hope you all are feeling healthy, safe, and not too lonely during these uh, these times that we're in. I, um, you know, uh, I'm here as a supporter and, in, in, you know, if any of you want to hit me up on uh, along the lines of any sort of self care um, things that you can do during these times, um, healing modalities, things like that, just reach out to me through Ray or you know get my get my contact. Um, so a few things I want to discuss, and we'll open it up with this: is that um, as you all probably know, Ray and I have been researching uh, a lot of you know what I would call paranormal. Uh, sectors of reality, uh, fringe, a lot of things to do with like UFOs, with um, extraterrestrials, which now I call partners and friends because I'm, I'm building a closer relationship to them. Um, also, both of us are have been doing a lot of healing work um, on ourselves and venturing into working with other humans um, one-on-one. And I think that this is all interrelated. I think that what's happening here um, simultaneously during this <clears throat> pandemic, um, which is, in my opinion, the beginning of a big, dis- a big distraction that is probably going to grow, um, there is a more cosmic narrative that is unfolding uh, uh, more apparently, and it has to do with our consciousness shift, our physical, uh, spiritual, mental, heart, all these other energy centers that we potentially don't even know what they are, are upgrading, they're shifting, and there are multidimensional beings from higher dimensions that are directly connected to our evolution that are here to support us. And so... I've been in contact with a group down in Brazil for the last couple of years that have been researching and working alongside a, um, let's call it a group. It's like a group of 49 races of beings. And they just gave the word two nights ago or two mornings ago, I guess, that it's time to start spreading the word that they are coming uh, to help out in the situation that we're in. Um, and the reason being, and it's interesting because there's been a few things that I picked up when I went down there since a few years ago that went, know, down, that there, a, went down to Brazil. To Brazil, yeah. That was an original question of mine. Like, we, we all have kind of known that there's been, like, this heavy manipulation going on for a long time. Um, so, like, why can't, they help, why can't they help us now? You know, like, why, why, you know, why, why do we keep having to go through all this hard shit? It's, like, suffering, this, you know... Um, poverty, you know, hunger, all these things that shouldn't be here in our reality. Uh, why, why are these things here? Those are some deep questions, right? And it's the, the question, the, the answers were, well, we can't interfere directly in your evolution. We, we, can't in, we can't interfere directly in your own free will because your free will and the choices and the decisions you make go into your evolution and that's necessary for your you you need to learn the lessons in order to sort of upgrade and keep you know keep moving up the scale i don't even know if up the scale really makes sense now it's just sort of like growth um adding value to your life to your to your um to your work to your spirit to your soul to your you know uh, expansion of your awareness expansion of awareness exactly like that that's it that's a key to, to all this, um, especially right now, like I think that we're, we have to be super aware of what's coming into our field at this point, because it feels like this is like an information war. This is like a World War Three, maybe the beginning of it, you know, like, what is your news feed telling you this morning when you look at your phone? You know, what, how is that programming your day with, with fear, with 
anger, with all of these emotions that are designed to lower your frequency um, and, and put you in more of a state that you can be controlled in, um, essentially is what, what's happening. Um, so we have to be really aware of like what we're bringing in, but also what we're putting out, you know, like how, what is, pro, what is con- programming us to say certain things to, to, um, to tell people that you should do this or this guy's right. Or, you know, Trump and QAnon, you know, I think that this is really real now, you know, like you, I don't know the, the, the answers to any of that or what is really what I just kind of, I'm, I'm going around like my feelings and a few sources that I'm resonate with. And like my intuition is saying like, okay, follow that path. Or I've had clues from this path since I was a kid, little puzzle pieces along the way that I've been fitting together all these years that I'm like, whoa, I've had these like sort of like epiphany moments where I'm like, this is, this is expansive. This is actually, this is resonating. So there's two things I want to discuss real quick. These good, the, the ethical beings, 49 races of light are coming to help because there's, they had said, we can't interfere in your free will until there is a moment where there is manipulation on a global scale and everybody, the intention of the manipulators is to hurt everybody. And they said that essentially that's what's happening now, that they're coming in to intervene. I don't know what that looks like or what that really means. They said basically keep your eyes to the sky because there's going to be some crazy stuff happening up there. Um, Mostly at the beginning with something called the Starlink and it's, supposedly this is what the narrative goes and you can look up Starlink online and you'll find out what it is. It's a new Tesla satellite that is being put up into the atmosphere and you're going to see, it looks like a string of lights, like flashing, almost like something's moving, a string of lights moving and there's like different flashes. So this is a, this is a twofold distraction or, or lie. It's, it's like they're saying it's a satellite. It's not really a satellite. They're using it to basically, try to start conditioning people that there there is more activity in this guy more lights but essentially the good guys are coming the the ethical beings are coming so there's going to be a lot more activity with ships with lights with things that are actually upgraded light technology not third dimension machinery which is basically what the starlink is and the, another thing that they said to start passing to everybody is that the starlink technology the starlink machinery is actually anunnaki machinery that is trying to set up a security grid to block the light beings from entering our our place our dimension our our you know our field of earth whatever this is whatever platform you guys believe it's round you guys believe it's flat comet whatever you believe but however you can shape that in your mind that this starlink thing is is a a machinery to sort of like you know secure this matrix so that we can stay under control um, so that, that's, that's a big point to, to, to talk, to discuss that, you know, Tesla is, is essentially a proxy for the manipulators, you know, you know, he may have like a mass following at this point. Um, people may be into him may, may love his cars and think that, you know, his technology is something it's all, you know, jacked from Nikola Tesla or a lot of it is. And then that's, that's been planned out, you know, that technology was taken over, um, by the by the i don't know what you would ever want to call them i call them the inheritors i call them the manipulators and you know it's like there's different groups of um controllers yeah whoever they are you know like we we all know that there's like a hidden hand in a lot of this like just to, just to rewind i mean you mentioned the anunnaki um yeah the people that don't know a lot of the ancient alien theories involve the anunnaki in, in uh talk about them being the controllers of earth humans and trying to make us a slave race. And that's where all this ancient alien theory came into play. Um, also, for those don't, that don't know, the Mayans, a bunch of ancient cultures predicted uh, evolution of humans from 3D to 4D to 5D. <clears throat> and that's supposedly, you know, what's happening now. And what you're saying is that you, your people got word that the ETs are coming to help facilitate this shift. Yeah, I, don't, I know that they're helping to facilitate the shift that they, they have been, you know, like since they've been there all along and like, you know, taking care of us to a certain, to a certain extent, to a certain degree. I, I really feel that. I really resonate that. Like when I would be like a kid and see like, 
a yellow light appear to me in the bush, you know, like I was scared. I was like, what is that? That's, that's crazy. You know, like I thought it was like a bad, a bad ET because that's the conditioning I had from like movies and like things growing up, you know, what I've come to realize now is that those were helpers sort of adjusting me at certain parts, certain times in my life where maybe I was having difficulty. Um, so there's like, there's been a, a huge shift and awareness and, and like the truth for me and what, what that's connected to. Um, and for a while I was like, I've never been like anti gray, anti Anunnaki or anything like that. But and I've heard information passed back and forth about who the Anunnaki's were, what, what hand they had in potentially our creation, um, what sort of like genetic manipulation occurred during whatever, whatever happened in like our evolutionary state now of the humans that we are now in this reality. Um, but apparently that they are almost at the top tier of command of like controllers of this, this earth realm that we're in right now. Um, so yeah, that was, that was kind of new news because the Anunnaki have sort of like fallen into the back burner, like on a lot of the research I have been doing, you know, and I, I knew, I know that there's been like, five races that are are like third dimensional this is a key point third dimensional uh beings that are not light beings that they have not evolved to to gain um light technology and, and light technology not only like to use as sort of a, a exterior technology like a ship or like um a free energy generator or uh something like of that nature but actually we are a light technology we are we're capable of, of turning our bodies into light. And so this is what sort of, this is this remembering process. And this is what I believe to be part of our evolutionary process that we are gonna open <clears throat> channels to receive transmissions, information, language, coding, that is gonna allow us to make a cosmic or a, a quantum jump uh, in a physical reality. In evolution, even evolution. Yeah. Well, that's a lot right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to hear more about the Starlink. Okay, so you said <clears throat> Tesla's going to, um, uh, specifically Elon Musk is going to Musk, have, yeah. uh, a new program mm -hmm. where it looks like satellites, mm -hmm. but it's actually um, technology it's to do. To, to deter the galactic federation yeah to do something and i so I, I was i started researching it last night and i was like start and dude there's like there's new articles within the last like probably like five to 20 hours that and there's like they're starting you know how when something new starts coming out they start like you know rooters and you know like yeah. dnn there's like multiple ones about talking about the starlink and it, there's another key word that they used and it said sunshade technology so right there i'm like they're trying to block a light um, that's just sort of like my first reaction to that, to sunshade. They're trying to block some sort of light. So that makes sense to me what the partners from Brazil are saying, that they're trying to sort of like do some sort of block against a light that's coming down to us at the moment. So there's different like ways that we've been programmed um, to receive information. And we have like certain like constructs that we've developed because of conditioning and because of like, history narratives, most probably all false history narratives and things of that nature um, and the way that things really work. So I think that we are here, I am here to help assist in guiding people to the, the, the real information to the truth. Um, and I think that everybody should be doing that also, you know, like don't just listen to one news source or, you know what I mean? Like dig in a little bit, like get in there, especially now, you know what I mean? Like there's so much and you, you have to like follow your gut. You have to follow your heart. Um, and not just, you know, not just follow like blindly, like a sheep, right? Like COVID-19, right? Like this is, uh, if you guys look up Ovid in the dictionary, it's a la the Latin root word of that is sheep. Right. And, and, and the number 19, if you look up the number 19, is the ancient number of surrender. So just think about that. C, COVID, C, like the letter C, but actually just C, See sheep surrender, and that's what's happening right now. Uh, what happened? Ooh. 
what's up guys it looks like we got cut off for some reason you know you start talking about certain mm. certain topics you start saying certain words certain weird things start happening to your computer <laughs> start uh, weird things start happening to you man <laughs> weird things start happening to you um but there's a lot of good info there um danny's gotta go but we, you know we're just gonna wrap up this video um you want to finish those thoughts you were saying danny without using well whatever yeah. we said those words yeah we don't have to say those those words you know there's like probably a lot of like shadow ban stuff going on i hope that that's not a word now too i don't i hope shadow ban is not a shadow ban <laughs> um well, but we, you know, we were flagged a long time ago so i know man i know we've been deep, we've been in the mix for a minute um i i just want to you know start you know loosely start closing up here with um i think that just what i've come to realize um more so now in the last you know two you know month and a half um is that this is like this is a great opportunity for all for all of us to really just like connect with all of the things that we've been putting off for so long you know like and it's really important and i think that a lot of those things will fall into like self-care practices that you know you've been too busy you've been too busy to do you know and i know that a lot of us have, have initiated and started doing it but there's probably still a lot more that can be done right now that will make us better stronger more capable more active people um and i want to end with um the topic of self-love you know like i think that it's a it's important right now to do as, as much excavating as possible to get into those places where maybe we were like treating ourselves bad or not taking care of this for ourselves you know maybe doing it for other people to please people or whatever the case um but i think that you know start with 20 minutes or start with an hour you know of something that is like um good for you you know like some of the you know the more popular things like whatever it may be yoga a meditation um just simply being you know like self massage you know like i'm i'm a i'm a body worker and it's just been like kind of wild that i haven't been able to like do touch work on people right now because people are scared um so i've been going outside and like just <clears throat> I found the root of a tree the other day that like I put my foot on and it was just like, wow. I was like, I've, I've never given myself such a long, nice, like 20 minute foot massage, you know, on like a, a root of a tree coming out of the ground, you know? And it felt like, felt activating. It felt like my posture is better. It felt like, you know, less pain in my hip, you know, after I did it. So I think that that's, um, that's something that I just want to promote um at the moment uh because i think it'll be beneficial for all of us especially especially right now you know because this is a this is a stressful time you know it's a stressful time man. yeah for sure stress and anxiety can destroy your body so you gotta take care of it yeah dude yeah totally. um and then it's like <clears throat> you know it's spring cleaning time too right it's like time to just like sweep out all the stuff that like accumulated over the winter over like last year and um yeah get it out you know like i don't know if the, if the dump or the recycling centers are all open but <laughs> it might be good to just do a few things like that anyways that's that's sort of what i've been doing and, and um you know really just connecting more with the with the with the earth elements with the natural elements as much as i can um we should do a podcast about that dude let's do that on the next one for sure I'm, I'm totally happy to share um um any of that information i just want to plug one thing while, while we're on the topic but um i'll send you this uh, new project we're working on and it's called cosmic earth warriors and um it's about raising awareness um between ourselves and the earth and really like all these people talk about like downloads coming down and it's, we're all getting here right now because we're upgrading. So it's like, we're, a, we're a collective that have come together to help support you in your downloaded information and help you put it into 
practice, whether it's taking action steps of your own, whether it be like empowering yourself to heal or whether it be um, collaborations. Um, but that's what, that's what we're about. And Ray, I'll, I'll shoot you the, the IG link so you can, um, maybe you can tag it. Sounds cool. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, man. Dude, that was awesome, bro. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep it rolling. I'm down, I'm down to doing next week and, or whenever, if we have to do it sooner, let's do it sooner. I know that we're all like, um, this, this is all like, uh, anything can ignite like from one second to the next during these times. So like, you know, let's all just stay hyper, super aware, um, of, of like all this stuff that's coming in and really just try to tune into your heart and to your gut on like what, what, um, what's the best for you, you know, talk to yourself. Talk, talk, ask yourself questions, you know, go, go inward and, and um, you got all the answers. <laughs> very true. Very true. This is all part of, you know, um, a lot of people don't want to say these words like self-development, personal development, self-mastery, you know, but if you're like, if you're not living the life that you want to be living, um, if you're not, if you don't have like relationship you want the, the the life you want to live the job you want this is all part of self-development exactly exactly so, um, if you've been avoiding these topics right now we're stuck at home it's the perfect time to uh, get, go in go in with 100 percent, man yeah. I hope, let's, let's resonate that frequency out the more of us that learn how to love ourselves and, and work on ourselves that we're going to be you know we're, we're going to cause this evolution to just be more rapid um, and so everybody can just be in the, the love frequency and the peace frequency, and we can all just be in harmony together. So very important. Yeah. That's good. Well, we'll, 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 um, we'll keep it going and we'll talk in the next couple of days. Sounds good, brother. Thanks, Danny. Thanks for having me, man. For sure. All right. All right. Talk soon. Peace.